Hi, Radovan. Welcome to Ali 5 Minutes. Hello, Emiliano. Thank you for having me. Radovan, you recently stated IBC Solar Modules may reach a global market share of 50% by the end of this decade. This is a strong statement. It is, but uh, let me shortly explain why we believe so. I mean, you have this uh, learning curve of 0.3% uh, um, gain in efficiency every year. And uh, now everything is moving, of course, towards Topcon and heterojunction. But at some point, you have to, to gain efficiency. I mean, uh, heterojunction and then Topcon will stuck at a certain limit. And that's the point where the IBC solar cell technology will come in, in place because you are still having some potential for efficiency gains. In addition, it is also uh, much easier to implement um, alternative metals compared to, to silver. So going to copper and uh, especially also to, to aluminum metallization because you know you have broader metallization and that's why it's better to put it on the on the rear side and all this should happen in less than 10 years you're right it's very fast but i think after the implementation in 2016 of uh, monocrystalline substrates from longi the um, evolution of crystalline silicon technologies are going extremely fast so after that we had uh, perk I mean, PERC was already developed for many decades, but PERC only came after the implementation of, of low-cost monocrystalline wafers. And then we see what is happening now. PERC seems to come to its efficiency limits, so Topcon and Heterojunction will take over. And I think that still there will be a five years dominance of, of these technologies, and then we will move towards uh, IBC. I mean, we see it already at uh, uh, Longi, for example, they are also now saying that they are going to, to IBC. You also said Topcon will be the first victim of this revolution. Yes. So what I believe is that, I mean, PERC will stay still a couple of years uh, in the market and will be slowly substituted by N-type both-sided contact te technologies. And um, after that, uh, the IBC concepts will take over. So the both-sided contacted uh, technologies will be out there, let's say also like five to six years. And then the dominance will be certainly made by uh, rear contacted technologies like IBC on, on all levels, like uh, Topcon IBC and also heterojunction IBC. How many manufacturers have embraced the IBC technology to date? There are not so many uh, IBC believers at this stage because they believe it's too complicated. Also, the um, the module technology is uh, way different. But uh, Longi now also is, is is saying IBC will be the future. So they are the the first tier one manufacturers that are actually saying that. At the moment, we have only uh, two gigawatt. Uh, market out there, IBC market, but as I said, that will definitely change. Which market share IBC solar modules may reach this year? I think it will slowly increase, but not that much. The the big the big breakthrough will come then when uh, the Topcon manufacturers will realize that actually they have to improve their technology uh, in regard of. Um, making the the passivating contacts on both polarities and uh, it is extremely difficult to to make it on the front side like a selective polysilicon and then you have to print very shallow fingers to to hit the the polysilicon uh fraction so after a couple of years i believe like three or four years when the Topcon technology will then also come to its uh, to their technology limits, then the um, IBC technology will get unshaped. Do you believe that Europe and the United States may also host IBC solar module factories in the future? So I hope actually that the IBC technology is something special for the European market. We have now a, a European project called IBC for EU. And uh, Maya Burger is having having something similar, 
with the Pilatus project, they are developing, so we are both developing IBC technologies. And uh, I hope that uh, the IBC technology will be firstly more visible on gigawatt scale in, in the European or US market, and then that the Chinese will will follow. The, so this is something special that, that uh, we could have for the European market at the moment. But then, of course, it will be distributed quite homogeneously. Thanks for your five minutes, Radovan. Bye.